Fields is available in 77% of NFL.com leagues, which qualifies him for this segment. And Dallas, you saw what they do against rushers, but now minus two of their best pass rushers and also the fact that they've allowed the most rushing first downs. That is a formula for Justin Fields to have a heck of a game and a huge fantasy output this week. And then my second one is Xavier Leggett. They play Chicago. This is not the most favorable defense to pick a wide receiver, especially a Wookiee wide receiver. A A Wookiee wide receiver, yes. But ultimately, you're going to want to look to see who Andy Dalton has the connection with, and it is he. So he had 19.6 fantasy points last week, 13.7 in his first three games combined. So that is the difference when you have Andy Dalton under center versus Bryce Young. Well, I'm looking at a running back, and that's Kareem Hunt in Kansas City. He walks back in, and he's obviously familiar with the offense from his time there with Andy Reid, and immediately gets 43% of the snaps, uh, 17 total opportunities between rush attempts and targets in that game. Out-targeted Samaj P. Ryan. I mean, P. Ryan had been the passing down back. He got no targets compared to three for Kareem Hunt. Looks like he might make Carson steal the odd man out there in Kansas City. I thought maybe Kareem Hunt was going to be sort of an emergency option there. Looks like he might, for the time being, be the RB1 in Kansas City. Then, because everybody needs tight end help, Tucker Kraft. I know Matt LaFleur doesn't want to talk about who the number one wide receiver there is in Green Bay because it makes him (laughs) nauseous or whatever it is. Um, He's got a number one tight end. It appears to be Tucker Kraft. He's run twice as many routes, twice as many snaps as Luke Musgrave. Getting a 15% target share, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it's an offense that doesn't necessarily feature its running backs very heavily in the passing game. So a lot of those short outlets that on a lot of teams might go to a running back instead are going to go to Tucker Kraft. I I like the matchup against the Rams, who defensively really feeling the loss of Aaron Donald, Ernest Jones, and just a young group trying to figure itself out. So uh, I mentioned Jordan Love is a guy who has a big day. I think Tucker Kraft sees a lot of targets as a result. You want a receiving option that's a good outlet in the flats? Well, Uh what about Justice Hill of the Baltimore Ravens? The third most receiving yards among all running backs and leads the team in red zone targets this year. If the game script is good for the Baltimore Ravens, then Justice Hill is going to be involved. If the game script is bad for the Baltimore Ravens, it means Justice Hill is going to be involved. Justice is viable. Also, we're going to court uh, coming up later on on NFL Fantasy Live. And also, Josh Downs, uh, to me, is worth a pickup. He's working his way back from that preseason injury. He had a 22-point performance where he's actually available in 97% of NFL.com leagues. Yeah. Not in my leagues. No, not in our leagues. All right, league guy. I'm sorry he's not available (laughs) in your league. But, folks, if you're out there and somebody's burning a hole in your roster, you can add some value to the roster by going up and picking up Josh Downs. So those are some targets uh, that we got on the waiver wire. And, of course, uh, we're going to go to some of those guys after they scored fantasy points. There's some fantasy points that actually didn't happen. These are our delicious.